So um, let's do, are there any specific techniques or methods I should use when teaching my child to, to swim? Um, not specifically, no, I don't think so. Um, there is no particular technique. Um, I would recommend the fact is that you roll with your child as to what they're naturally going with. So if you're taking them by themselves, um, then I would um, watch them, observe, observe them, see how they're wanting to move. They may one day want to just jump in if they're wanting to master that skill. Um, and just making sure that you are there by the side um, helping them with regards to jumping in and then coming back they might want to jump in and then swim back to the steps um, and different things like that so that's um, with regards to you know any type of um, specific sort of skill if you like they want to work on roll with that it might mean that they um, want to master diving down if they're at a certain age you might want to use some stairs um, to to help with that progression of going down deeper in the water um, you might want to work on um, if they're struggling a little bit with blowing bubbles or putting their face down in water you might want to work on a little bit um, not the whole lesson of course with enticing them with certain sort of games that you can play we're trying to get them to blow bubbles or whirlpools on top of the water um, to, to help them with that. Um, you might want to work on their backs, for instance. So you might want to work on floating. So, you know, it's helping them lying on their backs in a safe way um, and where they feel comfortable of being on their backs. Do never force a child to be on their back, please, um, because it's really hard to undo that um, if they do go to swimming lessons. Um, I call it the Marmite effect. <laughs> Um, either they love or they hate being on their backs and if they don't like it on their backs then please don't force them in the fact that they need to go on the backs um, because we will work with that um, within um, you know within swimming lessons to help them gain that confidence of being on their backs if they are comfortable then of course go with that <laughs> um, and lie with them and um, lie underneath them and they can lie on top of you you can swim together on their backs you can start adding in their legs you can do a little bit of movement with their arms see what they do naturally um, and then go with them that way if they're just wanting to be on their fronts looking down and, and looking uh, underneath and around them maybe you can put some types of different toys underneath the water that they have to go down and retrieve or you can go down and retrieve them if they see one and then they point down and they don't want to go under then you can do that with them but there are no specific techniques that I would say um and or any specific um what was it any type of specific methods no I don't think there are uh, apart from uh, um you know observing your child and going with what they love to do in the water and um, taking from what you have um, seen at swimming lessons and then um, I wouldn't recommend to try and replicate swimming lessons um, I would take a little bit of what you have watched and seen and just work on a couple of things but ultimately um, it's what they enjoy doing and roll with that.